Hurricane Ian making its mark in just a matter of hours. That category store for uh, category four storm is expected to make landfall in Florida. About two and a half million Floridians are under evacuation orders right now, affecting highway traffic just hours before that storm hits. ABC ABC News is here with the latest. Ian is the strongest September hurricane in two decades and it's poised to rip right through Florida. We're going to have a catastrophic impact in southwest Florida, uh, but this thing is going to you know, really barrel across the state. It's going to be a strong storm. Overnight, the storm passing the Florida Keys, bringing wind, rain, and storm surge. These backyards flooded, residents evacuating through waist deep water. Nearly two and a half million people in the state under some sort of evacuation order. I've been here 45 years, and this is the first time I left for a storm. The water just really scared me, and as well as the path. It was very confusing, and um, I didn't want to risk it. At least five tornadoes reported, one of them damaging small planes at an airport in Pembroke Pines and uprooting these trees. 26 states sending support, FEMA teams and search dogs being deployed, but officials are warning those staying behind. After a certain time when and tropical force winds are here, we will not be sending out first responders. And growing concern about Hurricane Ian's intensity. If it makes landfall with wind speeds of 155 miles per hour or more, it will become only the fifth hurricane in U.S. history to do so. Justin Finch, ABC News, Tampa. You know what, Sam, all of us have been watching this. We have family there. We know people there. I just zoomed with someone uh, in that path of the storm. He says we're just going to hunker down. We've got three days worth of food and supplies, so we hope everything's going to just not be so catastrophic as what everyone's talking. Yeah, Brooke, we have our fingers crossed that this is definitely not going to be as bad as how it's shaping up to look like right now when we're getting all the weather data unfolding for much of the west coast of Florida. Very unfortunate situation unfolding. This is an area where they're not seeing the worst of the storm, but an area where obviously we're seeing the effects. This is St. Pete Beach actually just towards the Tampa area, but of course the conditions are a lot worse down by Fort Myers right now. Again, the latest on it, a Category 4 storm, very strong strong exactly on the fringe of a category five hurricane. It's knocking on the Fort Myers doorstep and is making its presence known towards Port Charlotte. That's where the worst of it is ongoing right now. It has not made landfall, but it will be expected to make landfall here shortly in the next coming hours or so. It's projected to continue to stay as a category three storm, making landfall just south of Tampa, making its way into central and northern Florida, and eventually it'll make its way back into the Atlantic Ocean where it will make a second landfall likely along the Carolinas. 